Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join me here at our headquarters in Saxon and in this video we're going to have a look at some of the general settings that we can make on our Hexashift machines with Cebus. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus Hexashift machine, looking this time at some of the general settings that we can make in relation to this transmission. And again, I think it's fair to say some of the settings that will really dial the transmission into being, you know, your specific tractor and making it feel that way. So how do we do this and what can we do? Well, firstly, if we pop into the transmission menu on the right hand side of the screen, we can see that we have a transmission settings sub menu. And there's a couple of things that we'll have a look at in here. Well, firstly, we'll see that we have a gear on start setting here. So if I pop into that, I can select maybe gear C3, for example. So what does this do for us? Well, now, once I press the tick, every time I key on and key off, for the restart, the machine will automatically shift to gear C3 for me. Again, this can be set to operator preference. Secondly then, gear on start road mode, I can again set this to how I like. So maybe if it's for a heavy tra trailer load of grain, I can have this set to a lower gear of C1 or maybe C2. Or if I have a lighter tractor, I'm only driving about with no trailer on, I could set that to maybe C3 or C4. And what this does, by turning this feature on with this icon here, once the screen sees zero kilometers an hour, with our auto shift turned on, our hex active feature, it will automatically shift to gear C2 when we are in road mode. So again, a nice little feature to work in the background, making it a little bit more reactive when we're taking off from junctions and so on, for example. Secondly, if I pop down into my driving strategy, I can change how aggressive or how soft the machine changes from forward to reverse. So here we can see our aggressivity for changing into forwards, minus four to plus four, minus four being softer, plus four being harder. And again, the same setting then for changing into reverse. Again, this is obviously operator preference. But for example, if you have something heavy mounted on the back end of the machine, a large plow, for example, maybe we want to soften these off a little bit so that we get less aggressive weight transfer across the machine when we are changing directions. And again, subsequently, just kind of improving the overall behavior of the machine. Lastly, I think we mentioned it in the previous cruise control uh, video, what we do have is a cruise control disable by throttle pedal. This is again, obviously, if we have cruise control spec to the machine. By turning this feature on and off, once we go near the throttle pedal, it will automatically disengage our cruise control value for us. So again, making the machine very, very similar to drive like a car, for example. So thank you for watching, everyone. Please feel free to check out some of the other videos in relation to your own machine. And for any further information, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.